welcome to the A350 Club Suite. <clears throat> hey Nikki. Hi. What's happening? Today is very exciting. So I'm laden with cameras and gear, <laughs> but we are flying on the very first British Airways long haul A350 to Dubai in the new club suites. So gonna be doing a full written review for thepointsguy.co.uk. Nobody really gets to see the behind the scenes of when we make these reviews. And so I brought Sean along with me Yay. to show you what this whole experience is like. Yes, lovely. Ooh, 4K, <laughs> club sweet. Let's get the important thing out of the way. How did we book it? What did we pay for it? So actually we booked a cash ticket this time. Now I can see cash tickets for as cheap as £1,900 return. And actually if you do business class one way and economy class the other way, you can get a cash ticket for as cheap as £900 at the moment. If you want to play Avios off peak, it'll cost you 50,000 Avios one way on peak. 60,000 Avios one way and the taxes going from London to Dubai are just over 300 pounds but if you do the other way around from Dubai to London it'll cost you a little bit less just 200 pounds So for convenience, I use the B Gates lounges. Here I am now. Uh, breakfast offering is still out and it's about midday. Um, it's kind of busy in here, busier than I'm used to in this lounge. Um, and so now I'm gonna head down and uh, board the flight. She's so cute. cute. She's cute. <laughs> look at those, look at the wallets. So, so pretty. So we are boarding through door two left. Um, there's only one boarding gate here. It's quite a big plane actually to just have one boarding gate. Uh, but there is no first class on this aircraft. So uh, business class will be to the left and everyone else to the right. Normally you get one cabin service manager and on this flight you seem to have three. They have pulled out the big dogs for this flight. It looks like. Thank you so very much. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello there. I'm very well. How are you, sir? Good. So, one thing I discovered for little people like me, window seats have much lower bins and much higher up here. So, let's see if I can actually get my bag in that higher bin. Is it? Right up there when you're oh, yeah, five foot nothing like that. Good I'm quite strong, but that is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, thanks. So the first thing you'll have noticed is that there's a door. There has never been a door before on a British Airways business class seat, nor in first class. So actually it's something that sets it apart even from first class. I'm gonna show you around all the different things that we've got here. So we have touch screen, IFE screen, big, bigger than the existing one in club world. And it's controlled both by touch and there's also another control inside here and there's a handy storage area in here to put all your other bits and pieces. And also inside here is a universal plug and two USB plugs. There's also another touch screen here and you can control both the lights and the seat. So there's both a shoulder light, a reading light here. There's two more reading lights above. These can't be controlled by these buttons. And 
also this controls the brightness of the control of this one here. There's some more storage on the seat, so there is this cupboard right here. This has a nice vanity mirror and also quite a narrow storage space. I put my passport in there and I guess you could keep a book or like a few bits and pieces in there. There's also one more little storage area just down here, which is about the right size for, I've got my amenity kit in there. You could stick a bottle of water in there as well. Let's check out the table. So the table's released like this. It's a little bit fiddly. Pulls down half, pull it down again. And it creates a nice wide table, good for working on, good for eating on. And one thing that I really like is you can click it again and just move it up. And this allows you to get out the seat if you want to. Sometimes uh, tables are so big that you can't actually maneuver out. And this one does this and then pulls all the way down to a more comfortable position for eating and working. There's also this shallow pocket here that you could keep few more of your things in. Not that handy, I think this probably could do with being a little bit deeper. So because of the design of the seat, there is not only a wah, lap belt, this clicks in here. There is also a shoulder strap. It's kind of comfy. Um, I don't think they'd make you wear this in flight when the seatbelt sign comes on, but you do need to wear it for takeoff and landing. I believe the alternative was to have an airbag in this part of the belt, uh, which would have been quite cumbersome. Some airlines have that and it's actually quite annoying. It's this huge uh, padded thing that sits around the belt. I would like to. Could I please get into very summer? I'm having the smoked salmon. <laughs> okay. Um, um, for me. Um, having grilled chicken with roasted vegetables and frike. Listen to this, noisy. Woo! With some nice cold wine inside. Uh, and here is the kind of little bit sad looking club kitchen, but if you're after a crunchy bar, cashews, water, or uh, Worcester sauce, can't get that in, <laughs> then um, here's the place to come. Uh, I wonder if there's any glasses because there's lots of juice. But is it all fruit? Yeah, and this is all for free. You can take it all as much or as little as you want. Right on cue, glasses and ice, I think. Is that ice? Is it ice? Ice, yeah. <laughs> we were wondering where the glasses were. And here they all are. <laughs> Just got them. I just come up from Vancouver as a passenger on a 380. Yeah. I was in club on there and having uh, spent a bit of time in this, it's a massive difference between the two. 
So, why don't we check out what this seat looks like as a bed? Let's have a light. Now, the padding is nice, it's soft and comfortable, but one thing I would say is it's very narrow around the feet. I do have shoes on still, so that makes things a bit more difficult, but it is quite tight. You can't move your legs around very easily. And the width up here is also quite narrow. Um, the one thing that is nice is that when you're laying down like this and you close the door, you really can't see anything, so you feel like it's quite private. In the old product, you always had two seats next to each other, so someone would all be, always be lying right next to you. The advantage there was there was nothing above your feet, so in the old product you had a bit more space around the legs. However, here you have no one around you, no one close, no one's going to touch you. Well, flight complete. That was the A350-1000 on British Airways in the club suite from London to Dubai. It was an incredible flight. Service was top notch. The food was actually incredible as well. The whole thing was really amazing. I'm really impressed with the new product. Can't wait to get back on there. Really need to do an overnight sleep though because I'm not sure about the leg room. Feet felt a bit tight at the bottom when I was in a sleeping position but there was no time to sleep on this flight. In the meantime this was a brilliant experience uh, and I can't wait to try it again.